My name's Mark Kerr, I work for Fujitsu and welcome to our North London data centre. We started the build on this data centre in about 2007-2008 and we're very proud of what we've achieved here. It's about a seven and a half megawatt data centre, about 3,500 square metres of technical space. Fujitsu's customer base is mainly based around large outsource for both government and for private sector customers. We also deliver a very, very large global cloud capability. So the new North London facility was designed to service these types of customers. When we first started building the data centre or early stages of the design, we decided that we wanted to go for some form of independent certification of the data centre. I think the industry has struggled over the years to find any independent certification that everybody recognises. Very, very early on in the design, we decided to look around for an organisation that was globally recognised that could give us certification for the data centre. It soon became apparent that there were only a few organisations that had this credibility, and probably the one with the greatest credibility was the Uptime Institute. My name's Derek Wakeford. Um, I head up the engineering group within Group Properties and Facilities. The key thing that came out of the design certification process um, for Tier 3 was the aspect of concurrent maintainability. While we're all familiar with the main capacity items of plants having resilience and being able to be maintained, the important point was that all, everything in the distribution path had to be maintainable. And that is where a lot of design effort went into making sure we truly had concurrent maintainability. Very early on after we built the data centre and had it certified for Tier 3 design, we decided that we wanted to go to the next level of certification. So we decided to engage with the Uptime Institute to go with the Tier 3 operational uh, sustainability certification. We wanted to prove to our customers that we could run the data centre to the high standards that we built it to. In the present climate, where data is becoming separated from the customers directly in things like the cloud and outsourced services, we really wanted to have an independent assessment that not only have we built the data centre to Tier 3, but we were operating it to the highest standards. It's well known that 70% of data centre failures are down to human factors and human error. By well, having the certification, this gives our customers added assurance as to how our data centres run and operate. We were pleased to achieve the gold standard for our operational sustainability. This ensured all our maintenance processes and procedures had been independently verified. One of the things that we picked up on the sustainability audit was that we installed these dots on all of the indicators to show what the steady state should be. So an engineer walking down the corridor can look very quickly to see which indicators should be on, what key positions any of the switches should be in. Very cheap, very versatile, works first time. You can build a Tier 3 certified data centre, but the important thing for our customers is the ongoing operational sustainability of that data centre. So they know not only will the data centre stay available for them, but we will manage it to the highest possible availabilities. With our customers moving to buying cloud-based services, it was even more important that they could see that the facility was a Tier 3 design. Cloud-based services are brought very, very quickly and on a commodity-based basis, so the customers don't have time to do full due diligence on the facilities.
We're now in the mechanical plant room where we have three McQuay chillers rated at about two and a half megawatts each. We also have some plate heat exchangers. These give us free cooling when we have low ambient temperatures. Externally, we have three large evaporative cooling towers which reject the heat from the data centre. We also have water storage facilities to keep the towers in operation for up to three days in the event we lost our public water supply. On diesel fuel storage, we have three days capacity. We have diesel rotary UPS systems which smooth out any electrical disturbances and provide protection in the event of a long-term mains failure. One of the reasons we chose diesel rotary UPS was to eliminate the very large battery banks that are associated with static UPS systems. These battery banks require periodic replacement and have a significant environmental impact. The DRUP systems are efficient and have lower losses than typical static UPS systems. They also take up less space, which enable us to maximise the amount of data hall space we could provide. As you can see, a lot of time is spent on managing the raised floor. We do everything we can to ensure that the cold air is delivered only to the front of the racks and to stop recirculation. If you note here, you can see the curtains that we've installed at the end of aisle and that all of the blanking plates are installed and we've even put magnetic strips at the bottom of the rack to ensure as much cold air as we can deliver is delivered to the front of the service. When we designed our London North data centre, energy efficiency was very, very key to the design. We deliver a PUE of 1.4 from this facility, world class by anybody's standards. Fire is probably the key risk in any data centre. A lot of investment has been made in our fire protection systems. We use an inert gas system in all of the tech halls. We use a high mist system in our drops area because this is particularly good at dealing with diesel fire issues. And we've installed a VESDA early warning system throughout the facility at both high level and underfloor. All of this capability allows us to detect an incident early and to extinguish a fire very, very quickly if it does occur. Connection to the outside world is key for any data centre. In the North London data centre, we have two comms rooms that deliver our connectivity to the outside world. These allow our dark fibre link to our sister data centres and also allow our customers to connect to their network providers. By having two separate rooms, it allows us physical diversity on our network capability. Fujitsu not only run highly available data centres, they also need to run very secure data centres. We del deliver a lot of services to government and they're very, very sensitive to security. This has meant us installing over 200 cameras, an electrified proximity fence and trembler alarms all around the building. This allows us to ensure any attempts to gain access to the data centre are detected very, very early. We've gained huge benefits from joining the network. Uh, we now have a peer group with which we can discuss ideas and problems in a non-commercially threatening environment. The Institute is also provides a main form of professional development and training, and I think we all find this very useful.
Thank you for visiting Fujitsu's London North Data Center. We trust you found this video informative.